It's Dave Madeline time again. The first time this year. Where is Mr. Madeline? Eager to go fishing. Mad. <laughs> so what are you putting on there, Dave, now? Bloody butcher. A bloody butcher? Bloody butcher. Well, that'll do the trick as long as there's a bit of silver. That bad boy. Wow. <laughs> a bit of weed. That's the only thing so far. Rainbows on a cat's whisker. Yep. My god, that sounds like we've reached rock bottom here. <laughs> Desperation. Desperation. I'm not even going to get the hobnobbler out right now. Yeah, so I think it has to be another day. Yeah. This is the first time we've been fishing and it hasn't been raining. This is the reason why we never caught a fish today. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. So, in other words, we need rain. Yeah. Dave, we drink to that. We drink to rain. To rain. <laughs> to rain. So what do you think of the weather, eh? I haven't got a clue. I think it's highly conducive. What does that mean? I'm not sure. I just read it in a book once. Oh. So it is a con con conducive day. Yeah, I think we'll get a bit of trout fishing in today. No problem. Okay, so what are you doing there now, Dave? A bit of masking tape around my ankles to stop my wellingtons pulling my socks off when I'm walking. Wow, that is like... Homemade gaiters. Like a professional football player getting ready for the big match. <laughs> Don't behave like a bleeding Japanese tourist. Far. But I can understand that you want a picture of this. It's pretty spectacular, isn't it? It is. Glen Gash on the way to Loch Nalukruman. Yeah. So we should fish the left side there. We should fish all the way around here, this side. Yeah, that's what I think as well. Okay, what, a f what a fabulous place. It's a gorgeous place, this. I've got the Kingfisher Butcher on. The Kingfisher Butcher? Oh, actually, no, the Hardy's Gold Butcher. Is right wow. One, Dave. If we could only catch one. One between us. Yeah, well, one each would be better. Yeah. I'm sick of the Dietrich approach. Oh. So I'm going to go for the Michael approach and match the hatch. Match the hatch? Yes. So what did you call that? That's the Hardy's Gold Butcher. Yeah. Are you matching the hatch? I've done that 30 years ago. Right. So this time of year, in order to catch nothing, you put the bivio and the butcher on. Yes. And then as soon if you see plenty of duck flies or whatever around, you just put the BB and the sooty olive on. And that's all you need for your spring trout fishing. Okay, so you don't have to match the hatch or anything? Well, that is matching the hatch. Right, I suppose it is, yeah. Look at that, sir. The sun is shining. Marvellous. Yeah, and we might get temperatures of over 6-7 degrees today. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. That looks like we could catch one today. With a bit of luck. Today is the day. We have to catch one today. It has to happen today. It has to, or else I will retire from angling. Oh, God. You should not have said that. <laughs> so, sir. Same lake, just another day. Wind in a different direction. Wind in a different direction and maybe with a bit of luck we get 10 degrees today. So double figures possible. They just show no interest in 
interest whatsoever. Okay. Now I'm just going to put it outside those reeds there, and that's just a spot where you'd expect to find one. That's right, you would expect one just there at just the edge of those there. reeds. Okay. Oh! Oh, yes, if you want a trout caught, you ask an expert. Oh! And he's quite a good fish. Well, he's stuck somewhere. There he is. Well, I wouldn't call it a good fish, but I caught a fish. I hooked one anyway. Is it foul hooked? It's foul hooked. Oh you see, you have to resort to other techniques. <laughs> you see, it took the bibio. What else? Ooh. Well. Away he goes. Very the good. First trout of the season. Very, and that very is a good. Special one because it's foul hooked. <laughs> Not everybody can do that. No, 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 no. You see, that's a skillful one. That is a skillful one. Well done. <laughs> so it looks like there is rain on the way. Yes. So shall we hit the road? Well, if the fishing was excellent, which it isn't, I wouldn't mind staying and getting wet, but it ain't. So, so off. <laughs> we go off to Adra and have an all-day breakfast. Yes. Oh dear, this is after lunch. It's getting colder instead of warmer. But Dave wants to fish a river. So we are at a river. And two rivers actually. So maybe something's gonna happen. So I think I leave it all to Dave to show us how it is done, catching tiny little brown trout in a tiny little Donegal mountain stream. An absolute beast. Wow, show it to us because we want to see it. That must be one of the smallest trout I've ever seen. Yeah, no, okay. I'll get him back. So Dave, did you enjoy your weekends fishing in Donegal then? Waste of bloody time. <laughs>